find the determinant of the following 3x3 three three matrix A by using row operations to put A in row echelon form. Let's review the effect of our row operations on the determinant. So we have three row operations. First, if I switch any two rows, we multiply the determinant by a minus one. Then, if I multiply any row by a scalar, multiply the determinant by that same scalar. And then finally, if I take a multiple of any row, add it to another row, no effect on the determinant. So you just multiply by a minus one. Okay, let's apply these rules to our special case. So, I'm gonna write our matrix with bar notation for the determinant. So what are we trying to do? We want row echelon form. So, in the best case, what we're gonna have is we'll have ones along the diagonal and then zeros beneath it. Now, if we take a look at our matrix, we know it right away, I can factor a two out of row two. So that's gonna be my first operation. So I pull that out and then we're left with one, one, two. Okay, next step, I wanna put that one in the upper left-hand corner. So I'm gonna switch row one and row two. So the effect is we multiply by a minus one. So we do our switch, and then I'm left with a minus two out in front. Okay, next step to go to row echelon form, I wanna turn this three into a zero. So what we'll do is we're gonna take row two, subtract off three times row one. The effect on the determinant is gonna be no effect at all, but we still need to do the operation. So I'm gonna take row two, We'll subtract off three times row one. That gives me the new row, zero, two, minus four. So we put that in the middle row. Now, we note here, okay, I can again factor a two out of our middle row. So we'll do that, which puts a minus four out in front. Okay, then we have zero, one, minus two. Okay, next step for row echelon form. We got a one, zero, zero, a one, and now I want to turn this three into a zero. So what will we do? Take row three, subtract off three times row two. Okay, so that one will work out in our heads. And what do we notice? We're gonna be left with zero, zero, 11. Okay, for my final row operation, I'll just factor 11 out of row three. That's gonna give us a minus 44 out in front. And so you'll note we're in row echelon form. So our determinant is now just gonna be whatever's out in front. So the determinant is gonna be a minus 44. Of course, we can check that, and we should. So I'll just use our rule using three diagonals to the right, three to the left, then take their difference. When I do that, we'll have 30 plus zero plus 12, minus 36 minus 50 plus zero, and that's gonna give us our minus 44. So our work checks out. Why do row operations have the effect that they do in determinant? Two reasons. If I apply a row operation to a matrix, we can get that same result as if we multiply on the left by a certain type of matrix. Then, if I take the determinant of a product of two matrices, I get the same answer as if I took the product of their determinants. So that's just saying determinant of A times B equals determinant of A times determinant of B. And then that holds if you use three, four, as many matrices as you like. Now, let's take a look at our special case. So I have my matrix A. Our first row operation was factor a two out of row two. So I wanna wind up with this matrix that I'll call B1. To get from A to B1, we multiply on the left by the diagonal matrix, one, one half, one. Okay, apply determinant to both sides. Determinant of the diagonal matrix is gonna be one half. Here we have determinant A, here we have determinant B1. So we'll have one half determinant A equals determinant B1. I push the two to the other side. We have determinant of A is equal to twice determinant of B1. So if I want to switch from A to B1, I change the determinant by multiplying by two, or we're just factoring out a two. Next, the switch. So we want to go to row echelon form. So we want to put that one where we have the three. So we're gonna switch row one and row two. The matrix that's gonna do that for me is gonna be the matrix of this form. 
So that's going to send this matrix here to this matrix where we switch row 1 and row 2. So you should check that. We apply determinants. Determinant here is going to be a minus 1. Okay, here we have determinant B1 and then determinant B2. So that says determinant B1 is equal to, pushing that over, minus determinant of B2. Okay, if we keep track of what's happening with determinant of A, you're just back substituting. So we'll have determinant A equals minus 2 determinant B2. Okay, final operation. It's going to be adding a multiple of a row to another row. So for row echelon form, I want to turn the 3 into a 0. So we'll take row 2, subtract off 3 times row 1. The matrix that implements that looks like this. So you should check that. And then if I take determinants, we'll have, okay, here, determinants equal to 1. So I just have determinant B2 equals determinant of B3, where this matrix is B3. Okay, so we stop there. Okay, you can figure out the rest if you're going to go all the way to row echelon form. The net effect, what do we have? I have my matrix A. We keep hitting it on the left with these row operation matrices. So they're just going to pile up on the left till we get to the other side, which is going to be row echelon form. Now, if we apply our determinant rule, what happens? Determinant of row echelon form in this case is going to be 1. Okay, and then we have determinant of all these matrices here. So, if you want the determinant of A, we're take 1 and then divide by the determinant of each row operation that we use.